Hello everyone, it's Bernard here and Peter from the Almost Painted channel and today we have a kind of nostalgic mission for me because this is the mission number one from Boarding Action from the original Arcs of Omen Abaddon so very cool mission and we are playing Devguard versus Adeptus Custodis yes, with uh, some uh, help from Sisters of Silent so I think two very cool and very different armies because I have almost a horde army I think this is the biggest boarding patrol army we have brought uh, on this channel ever including those old games because I have... Uh, maybe we'll just go through the list and quick the mission in the Death Guard army I have two units of 10 Poxwalkers they do not split, they just start on the board they are happy, they are kinda slow but also, you know, they will do stuff they are not battle line though which is okay for me because I have two units of Plague Marines five men squads each, one is more melee oriented the other one is more shooty oriented they are cool, they can do secure sight so that's good, They're, they don't lose their <laughs> data sheet ability because it's utter trash it's plus one to battle shock tests while on ob objective I mean it's cool and on objective is still like the only time it matters but it's not rerolling wounds or something uh, then but it might matter because I have a stratagem that might Ooh. force you to do battle shock with minus one modifier. Yeah, so it so, evens out. Yeah. But also you have. Uh, we will get the yeah, through exactly. because they have some OC shenanigans. Uh, I have then a squad of three death route terminators. They are absolutely fantastic. I think they are super great for boarding actions. They have total of four flamers, <laughs> so they can do a great Overwatch. Uh, they are squad of three, so they are cheaper than a whole squad of Terminators and since here are a smaller units, they will still, you know, do a lot of damage. They can deep strike in. I really hope they will uh, do something this game, they will be useful. Finally, I have two characters. One is a Bylodus Putrefier, simply because I, I had him painted, I kind of like this model. Uh, I gave him uh, one of the two enhancements I can take for free. This one is that he spends no CP when he's giving his leader ability. So each time he gives a squad of a pl Plague Marines crits on 5 up. And remember, all Plague Marines have basically little everything, like all Death Guard has little everything. Uh, on 5 ups, it triggers, it costs me no CP, so I can give it in shooting, in fighting, whenever I need. He lost his grenade stratagems simply because there's no grenade stratagems in boarding actions. Yeah. But he still can be quite. Uh, a cool, a useful guy here. Finally, I have a Typhus, who is not a Typhus, <laughs> because uh, I was considering taking, obviously, the big guy himself, but he lost his uh, unique rule, the Destroyer Hive, in the boarding actions adaptations. Uh, he costs the same as a regular uh, Lord of Contagion. So I decided, you know what, he can cosplay as a Lord of Contagion. Lord of Contagion has exactly the same stats, the same damage, the same attacks, Pat can take an enhancement, so I gave him Death Guard specific one, minus one damage. <laughs> of so course. I brought back the old Death Guard feel. Uh, he's uh, one inch slower than Typhus though, and he can't lead Poxwalkers. Yes. But uh, instead of giving Poxwalkers some minus one to hit in melee protection, he gives full rerolls to the Death Road Terminators, which may be useful uh, in fighting to, for example, get those little hits. So, that's my army, that's total of 35 models. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot for boarding actions, I can tell you that. Yes, so. and in contrast, yeah. my army is very elite, because yes. obviously Adeptus Custodes are small units. Yes, and also in contrast, they're also very clean and shiny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, a perfect match. Uh, so, my force is led by Shield Captain, yes. who, who is obviously equipped with a shield. Yes, as and, the name suggests. Yes, and Sentinel Blade. And uh, also, there are four Custodian Guards. All are equipped with Guardian Spears, because I think that uh, in this format it, it will be the most efficient way to field them. Yeah, especially with the double shooting they can like, exactly. do a lot of damage. Uh, other than that, I have two Alarus Custodians that are waiting into in the deep strike hmm. be, because I don't want to foot slot with them uh, we'll see how the games play so I will dispatch them later and the last unit are prosecutors yes so there are five 
uh, Battle Sisters. Yes, which aren't Battle Line, unfortunately. Exactly, yes. I really thought that they are. I think that they maybe were previously, but they are only Battle Line in their own detachment. And since this is not their own detachment, yes. they can't secure site. Exactly, and it is very important because Adeptus Custodies have a rule that they cannot do secure site tactical maneuver. Yeah, so I cannot uh, secure any objective by any means. Yes, you have to physically be on the objective, steal it. Yes. Uh, which but, is limiting yes. the small army, but yeah. But I have also have some that. rules, yes, that might help me. Uh, my detachment rule, mm, just make uh, your OC uh, minus one. Yes, which can go to zero. Exactly. So, uh, it can actually matter a lot. Yes. It will be very easy for Peter to just go on the objective, steal it. That's and your detachment rule. And your army rule, if we are at it? Uh, yes. Uh, it's like Marshal Kata, but uh, focused. <laughs> so I can so do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can use it twice, and uh, in one phase it will be sustained hits, in the other lethal hits. Yes, army white. So yeah, army white, so no, not triggered on each unit, but uh, for the whole army. Yes, so not only you can't choose uh, based on the unit. You also uh, are limited to two uses per turn. Actually, each kata can only be used once. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, it's very, very limited. Death Guard also has a limited version of their own rule, the Contagion. They simply have a shorter range. They start with one inch turn one, three inches turn two, six inches turn three, and their detachment rule allows them to extend it. <laughs> However, to extend it by two inches, I need to kill seven models. Yeah. which may be very difficult and uh, it won't, won't matter at this yeah. point how large my contagion is. But uh, that's still okay. Do you uh, have any enhancements? Yes, because it's a uh, generic shield captain. I was thinking about giving him objective control 5, but I decided that more useful is plus 2 to inch. Plus 2 inch to move. Uh, plus 2, yes. <laughs> I mean, plus 2 inches would be also very <laughs> significant, but this is to movement. Yes, uh, 2 inches to movement, because I think that uh, just uh, moving uh, extra distance is more practical, because you can move uh, every turn mm, those 2 inches more, and you never know if additional OC will play a role or not. Yes, there are very small... Uh, the, the area to control yes. objective is very small, so it's very hard to pile in many exactly. models. Yes. Uh, Peter's captain, anyway, he reduces the OC by one. Yeah. So I can probably have OC two on an objective anyway, so then he will probably contest me. I don't remember yeah. the OC of, of <laughs> captain, uh, but... I think I know it's only two. Yeah, but the custodes in general yes. have quite, yeah. quite, high, quite high OC, and yeah, the, those two inches may matter a lot, because, for example, it may be in one of the previous games it was really game changing because Peter got minus one to movement and this one inch prevent him from basically get, getting to two objectives. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it can be uh, really important. So those are the army rules, those are the armies. Yes. Uh, what and is the mission? Uh, two words about the mission because uh, it's uh, also still the first mission. So Access Junction Primus. Yes. And uh, it's a it is a very basic mission. Yes, I will uh, show you the layout for a second. Yes. So as you can see, uh, it's simple as it can be. Very open, especially in the middle. We have a huge arena here to fight each other, yeah. to kill ourselves. The, this will be the slaughterhouse. The objectives are also very exposed. Like basically, you can see every objective from the middle. Uh, there is some cover on the sides, which will actually be a disadvantage because, yeah. for example, for my poxwalkers here, to get to this objective, I need to pass at least two, two doors. doors. So, uh, yeah, that will be interesting. That's why we both <laughs> deep striking our units. Yes, and uh, objectives are placed in a way that if you want to control them, you have to be exposed. Yes. So... Because it's only one yes. thing of... Uh, so even if the rest of the unit, for example, hides behind this wall, mm -hmm. the model that is controlling still is standing in the middle. Yes, so it encourages and he will be the first one yes, to be removed. Exactly. Yes, so it encourages aggressive playstyle. That's true. And talking quickly about the rules, there is no specific mission rule other than underdog. <laughs> and there is no underdog. Exactly. I think either both of us has 
exactly 500 points yes, or I have like, like 495. Yeah, I have 500 on the nose. And when it comes to objectives, it's basic one or more, two or more and more than your opponent. Yes, classic here. And uh, one endgame objective. We just count uh, units that have been destroyed. Mm -hmm. We calculate the points that yes. uh, have been removed. And if we um, destroyed at least 125 points, we get 15 victory points, then 250, and another, the last point yes, is and another. 375. Yes, for each one, 25, uh, you get uh, 15, 15 victory yeah. uh, And it needs to be a whole squad, so even if I will kill like more points in Custodies, but one of them survives, yes. Peter can get much more points for killing my Poxwalker. Exactly, the because we calculate units and not models. Yes. So, these are the rules. Yes, I have nothing to add here. So I think we can roll to see who goes first. Oh, one important thing. Uh, in this mission, in the final round, the second player ah, still yes. scores in the command phase. Yes, exactly. So he just... It, it's, it's another thing that encourages you to go on the objective and just stay there and fight yeah. in the open. Okay, so let's roll a die and see who goes first. Okay. This is Peter, and I think he goes first for the first time since we relaunched the boarding actions. Yes. Do you have any uh, common face abilities you want to use? I don't think so. You don't want to use martial cut? <laughs> it's, it's I think face. that not now, because I don't have any... Okay, so we can go Only straight plus to one command point. Yes, I already so, gave yes. us the first so command point. We can start the movement phase. Mm -hmm. And in a moment I will show you what has happened. Yes. So this is how my movement looked like. Mm, I just advanced with everything forward, all of my three units. So uh, custodian guards moved onto the objective. So in the next turn I get five victory points for it. Uh, I also advanced with my shield captain, who yes. is just hiding behind one of the walls. You can see those extra two inches because he's really, really far yeah. away. Yes. And the last unit, prosecutors also advanced so that uh, in the next turn they just can move on to this objective when the custodes just go forward. So that was my turn. I advanced with every unit so I cannot do any tactical maneuvers. And that's basically it. Yes, and still I think you're out of my range because my weapons have only 24 inches Yes, and I only move 5, so... Uh, but we'll see it in a moment. Now in my turn, uh, as you can see I already gave us uh, CPs. Uh, I don't need to spend any thanks to my enhancement, but my Biologus will give uh, his ability to the shooty squad, so they will have uh, critical hits on 5s, which may not be useful yet, but why not use it while I can. And now I'll do some movements, probably some advancing, and see you guys in a moment. Okay, as you guys can see, I also moved forward. Uh, some of my units were quite fast, like this squad of Plague Marines, of which one guy is just next to the objective. He will probably die, uh, but if he dies, uh, yeah, I will just reduce my casualties just to him because the rest is tucked in the corner. The second squad and Biologus, they are moving here, also behind the cover. And my leader, the big guy, uh, he wasn't so fast because in Cataphracty armor he's only 4 inches of movement base, so he, with advanced, moved only 6. He opened this hatchway just because he can, and those guys will open this hatchway just, just in case I will... Uh, or you know what? I will actually not open those cases. Because I just remember that I'm not the only one with uh, deep striking units. Uh, Poxwalkers, though, they did uh, open their hatchways. They had a little forward uh, deployment zone, so they didn't even need to advance. They just moved on a little bit. They will set to uh, defend, because they can, and I don't know why, uh, but maybe will deep strike your Terminator since it will come handy for whatever reason. So. Uh, that was my turn. We can get to turn two. Yeah. Peter will start and I can already give us CPs and five victory points to Peter. Yes, because I control only one objective. Yes, also... And by the way, right now, yeah, it's even because it's one to one. 
that's why I risk this death guard because uh, even if he dies he at least stopped you from getting 10 victory points yes uh, by the way this is the turn in which your deep strike arrives again you don't have any uh, command phase abilities right mm, no okay so, so we move straight into the movement phase yep. so see you in a moment and that was my movement phase so as in the previous turn, I also moved forward. Surprising. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, um, I advanced with my shield captain so that I can go um, almost next to this objective marker. Yes. But it was not enough, so I don't control it. But on the left flank, I arrived from deep strike with Alarus custodians, so they control this objective and they will shoot your unit on this side. Yes. Also, uh, Custodian Guard will try to target this single model so that I can mm, take you off this objective marker. And as I said, uh, mm, the Prosecutors moved into the place of Custodian Guards so that I still hold this objective. Yes, I have to say, for an elite army with so few models, you have surprisingly good board control. Yes. Because at the moment I can't deep strike on any of the stratagems, yes. except maybe my uh, objective markers. Objective markers, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, the total of stratagems. So, uh, now you're shooting, right? Yes, and one fun thing, yes. because I was thinking about using some stratagem for free, basically minus one uh, CP, because uh, I have this ability on my shield yes. captain, but I couldn't find anything useful, for now at least, so... That's it. Yeah. I guess I will spend something for a reroll. Yeah, because it's a whole battle, a once per battle round. Yes. Uh, okay. So, what is shooting first? I think I will start with Custodian Guard. Mm -hmm. I have one that uh, sees your one marine clearly. Yes. So, I want to start with him. So, two attacks from, from Guardian Spear. Yes. Uh, I have unfortunately no defensive stratagems. Okay, so 2 plus 2 hit. And I can. Half cannot, an no. protects. Okay, but I have 3 more. Yes, but against them I have my cover. Yes. Which will be actually useful. Okay, so once again, 2 plus 2 hit. Yes. This time much better. And now. Strength 4, so 5 plus 2 yes. wounds. Okay. okay, it's not great. And I can reroll uh, once to wound. Yes. So, reroll. Okay, so much better. Free. free. And it's uh, AP minus 1, damage 2. So, uh, my cover thankfully uh, negates that, but I need to pass free saves because it's damage 2 and Plague Marines no longer ignore any damage. So, uh, free ups. Okay, I'm golden. Seriously, Papa Nergu loves me. I mean, he loves all his childs, and not only his childs, he loves Custodis too. Yeah. Especially Alarus Custodian because they are so, you know, chunky. Chunky, yeah. And speaking about Alarus, yes. I will shoot with them now. Yeah, I was celebrating too early. <laughs> <laughs> and they target the same unit, but this time with Castan and Axis which in shooting have the same profile. <laughs> yeah. So, four shots, and here you have uh, cover with all models. So, four shots hitting on two plus. Yep. Oh, they are very angry. And wounding on five plus. Yes. And I don't have any rerolls, no. so... That's two wounds. Two wounds. There will be a very tough uh, decision for me to make if I fail this roll, but uh, let me save at least one. Okay, okay, I might be daddy's favorite, <laughs> daddy Changus. Uh, so, it was because uh, Peter saw two models yeah. and you need to remove models as their visibility. Yeah. Or, yeah. 
Uh, one of those models has a regular as bolter. He's useless in general, but he's on the objective. Yes. The other one has the coolest gun in the squad. And I could take the cool gun and get, uh, still hold the objective, which I would probably do, but it would, you know, suck to... But thanks to Papa Naruto, you can keep both. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was my shooting. It was a bit underwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> but at least, uh, as you said earlier, I have good board control. Yes. So if, if I want to do something, you will get 15 victory points. Uh, yes. So I'm very ex excited about your second turn. Yes. Don't so worry. I'll, I have some aces up my sleeve. Yeah. Uh, I need to do some quick thinking. The leader ability doesn't need to be used in command phase. I can use it at the start of any phase and it works till the end of the next command phase. So I will probably use it after the movement. Again, I need to consider a few things and I have a deep strike. Yeah. So, uh, this is the current deployment and see you guys in a moment. Okay guys, so this movement phase was actually harder than I thought because when I said that Peter has a great board control, I didn't even think it was that good. I didn't think either. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, maybe a little by accident, but I have nowhere to place my death row terminates. At first I thought, oh, maybe I will play, I will feed them behind the sisters, yeah. which would be great. No. Because I, it's like exactly nine inches yes. to the board. Then I thought, the maybe in front of my guys. Nope, because those two guys are too close. Mainly because Captain failed to get to the objective. <laughs> Otherwise, I would feed them. Uh, maybe I was able to put them on the side, and I can put them to the side, but because the scissors are so widely placed here, they need to be more than five inches from the door, and they have only four inches of movement. So they wouldn't be able to go to the door, open, shoot, and charge. Yeah. Which means I'm keeping them uh, another turn. Uh, if and I also moved those uh, plague marines here to the middle. Foxwalkers, they moved closer to the doors, but they are not engaging yet. I'm waiting uh, one more turn with my Death Row Terminators. I can only bring them up to turn three, yes. so that will be the last call. But maybe Peter will be so kind and kill most of my guys, so there will be room on the board. Uh, anyway, uh, now in the movement phase, let's say, yes. I'm giving from my biologist petrifier uh, the critical hits on fives to the fighty squad. No, uh, to the shooty squad. To the shooty squad. And I'm starting shooting. I also got five victory points for my only objective, but I need to stop Peter because he will get 15, even if he only controls two of those objectives. Yeah. And uh, his ability is like leader ability? Or? Yes. Yes. So you spent... No, no, he has enhancement to do it for Ah, him. okay, sorry, I forgot about it. So, uh, there will be some cool shooting. I think I will have to split fire. So, even though the shooty squad got the critical fives, the fighty squad that's targeting the Alarus, they will use their weapons. Because they have shorter range, but they have almost... Yeah, they have everything they want in range. There's only three guys with a weapon. Uh, so, I will start with the regular Plague uh, Stinky Water Gun. So, D6 auto hits, thanks to Torrent, 5. Okay, Peter, uh, what's the toughness of your Alarus Terminators? It's 7. I don't care. <laughs> I'm wounding you on 4 ups. Yeah. I wounded you only 2 times though. So, AP maybe, zero, you, maybe so you can. 2 ups. Okay, so 2 plus. Okay. I'm fine. So now the uh, bigger sprayer. <laughs> Only two. Uh, do I want to reroll something interesting? I have four CPs. I will reroll it. Okay. Uh, it might be useful. You don't have any other more scary weapon that you want to reroll later? No, I think this is it and I kinda hope for it. Okay, so I'm rerolling. I will subtract CP in a moment. Four. Uh, Two times better. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Death card. Only, only three. Uh, let's hope it makes a difference. This time only go to us. 
Okay, uh, this fail hurts, but uh, minus one AP, so and the doors cover. Okay. So you're saving so on three, three plus three times. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh! I think that now <laughs> your your father loves yes. you. Yes. So and I'm to to be honest, Emperor only ever loved custodies. So. <laughs> so yes. Uh, so I have also we have two protective fathers. I have plasma pistol, and I'm not overcharging it. I don't think I need it at this point. Yeah. Although I would be wounding on three ups, and now I'm wounding on. And with plasma, you are targeting uh, guards. Mm. Or no, 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 no. Alarus. Okay, alarus. Okay. I don't know. I didn't decide at the beginning, so let's say uh, say alarus. Okay, I hit you. Uh, and I'm wounding you on four ups. Nothing. Okay, so that was the squad I was hoping for some more damage. Now the shooty squad with the sustained uh, hits. Uh, here I have to uh, do some... Because I think it's hard for you to shoot yeah. through your own unit. This guy should... Yeah, uh, not everyone will be able to shoot... Well, definitely not the single one... Single, uh, not the same unit. Anyway, uh, although I think I this guy's supposed to be here because I was like triple check checking and I was if I split them they should be able to do. so the plasma guy and the bolter guy they are targeting your shield captain. Okay, uh, the champion. Who should be able to see between them very thin line to your captain. Then the guy with a bubotic launcher needs to target your custodian guards and so does the guy with the bolter. Okay. So, uh, starting with uh, bolter into your custodies. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, blight launcher. That's actually auto wound. And another hit. Uh, your toughness 6. Six. I believe it's four ups then. Okay, so that's two wounds at AP minus one. Okay, so three plus to save. I'm fine. <laughs> All your poor shooting goes yeah. into great saving. Yes. Uh, so that was into the second card. Two plasma shots into your captain, and I will risk it for the biscuit. I will overcharge the plasma. Okay. I'm hitting you on three ups. Okay, it's good that it's not the old rules. Uh, wounding on free ups. Okay, I've wounded you. AP minus three, so you have four up invulnerable save. Yeah, exactly. And it's damage two. Two. Four. Oh. Okay. And you know what? You'll spend your free. Yeah, I think stratagem. Yeah, the battle round is coming to an end. Yes. So I will spend free stratagem as you said. So four plus. No. Okay. Uh, but you don't lose your CP. You yes, and I'm left with five wounds because I have one additional wound for the shield. So I was starting with seven. Yes. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, if you're doing action, you can't shoot, right? Yeah. Okay, so I wasn't doing an action. Uh, the leader will use his plasma pistol without overcharging because your toughness is six. And by the way, hazardous test? Uh, yep. Okay, no. it's fine. Uh, the leader not overcharged plasma pistol. He hit you, wounding you on free up. He wound you. AP minus two, so again four up. Four up. Ah, so you're down to four. Four. Yeah. So uh, that pleases me greatly. And I think that was the whole shooting at my disposal at the moment. I'm declaring a charge. This squad, the melee squad, needs eight to get into your custodies. Okay. Not seven. I can like quadruple check because it would be glorious if they needed seven. So, 18 charge. I have CPs to reroll it. Okay, so I'm spending a CP to reroll it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, he's like within inch and then they will gladly pile. Uh, closer to him. I have only two CP. 
but 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 now it's a fight phase and I think I will have to actually spend a CP again so I only have one single CP left for chinks in their armor and it gives you uh, it gives me uh, sustained hits on fire ups okay so this guy. Uh, so, I have actually three heavy plague weapons. Mm, each of the heavy plague weapon has gives me three attacks. Okay. So that's nine attacks in total from the heavy plague weapon. Uh, hitting you normally on a four up. I mean, still on a four up. But it five up is out of. Okay. Okay. It's I see three auto wounds. Yes, and one uh, regular. Yes, uh, I'm only on three ups. And by the way, you have okay. So it's four wounds. You need to save AP minus two, damage two. Okay, so four plus. Yes. And that's it. Yes, that's four okay. saves. On average, I should be able to kill one allows. So let's see. Perfectly yeah, four wounds. So one of them is dead. Yes. But I'm not finished because I also have uh, six attacks with plague knives, which are also lethal hits. So each five up is auto wound. <laughs> no wounds yet, but uh, I'm wounding you on five ups. Okay, it's a one wound. We save it on the two up. So two up. Yeah. Okay. And now I can strike you back. You can strike me back. With my Castellan Axe. Yes. Mm, so I have four attacks. I hit you on two plus. Okay. You know what? I have so many command points that I, I will spend one to reroll. Yes. So now in hindsight I think you should try to save your guy. Ah, yeah. But I didn't. <laughs> but you, you did great in the controlling board, so... Yeah, so uh, rolling, you can subtract the command point. And it was a fail. <laughs> and now with strength 9, yes. I guess I need 3+. plus. Uh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, and I cannot re-roll it. So, two wounds at AP minus one yeah. means I need four ups. Oh, okay. I lost a guy. Am I ready to say goodbye to one of my plague marines or do I want to spend the last CP and try to save him? Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I may need those CPs, so I will let the uh, Plague Sprayer guy go. He was a little disappointing, so uh, that was my turn. I will obviously pile in closer to you. So, yeah, I think that I can only move this guy. So I have two guys on objective. You gave me minus one OC. Yes. And you have OC2. OC2. So we cancel each other out. Yeah. Uh, but still I'm happy because at the moment of, at the start of your uh, turn three, you do not control more objectives than me. Yes. But you still get uh, 10 victory points. I mean, five victory points, 10 in total, right? Yes. So that's your turn and I'm dramatically exposed. Yes, but you managed to strike me some first blows because you removed three wounds from my captain, you killed one Alarus custodian, so... And the contagion is only getting, you know, more severe. Yeah. Because now uh, six inches is my aura of sickness in which you have minus one toughness. Yeah. And some cool stratagems probably. I need to check those stratagems. Do you have any command case abilities? By the way, we get extra CP. You have four now. That's ridiculous amount of command points. It's another battle round, meaning that not only you have four command points, but your captain can use one for free. Yeah. Uh, so... That's... I need to start spending that. 
Okay, so I need to uh, think quickly about the movement. See you guys in so, a moment. Yeah. Okay, so I think it was a very interesting movement phase because I had to make a lot of small decision, but I have a plan. <laughs> yes, and it's kind of scary. Yes. At least for me. For yes. Difficult. So, uh, I decided to fall back with my Alarus. Yes, for one CP Peter can fall back through other models. Yes, it's inescapable vengeance stratagem, so I use it to fall back and move uh, in a way that I'm within one inch from this hatchway, so that if you want to open it with your poxwalkers, I can block you. Yes, with toughness 7 versus my toughness 4, that will be a hard nut to crack. Yes, and I decided to go with the same strategy on the other side with my shield captain, Yes. and he's within one inch of hatchway and also objective. So I can control objective and block you, uh, there I have only toughness 6, but it's still much, mm, higher, much higher than yours. I also moved with my custodian guards as close as possible to your plague marines. Yes. Because I want to charge this unit and I will use my ability to shoot twice into this unit. Because yes. it's perfectly in the open field for so me. So both shots will be into this squad. Yes. And I will start the shooting with prosecutors. Yes. Because uh, they are within 24 inches and... Yeah, uh, if you kill one, yes, then exactly. will be... Okay. So this is the plan and also I set overwatch with my captain. Yes, because you uh, have I, better I, Yeah, to do. exactly. <laughs> so, this is the plan. Yes. So now it's time to execute it. Yes, I hope for very good save rolls. Yes. So I have only five shots with my... Mm, prosecutors. Yes, you're hitting on three ups. So three plus to hit. Okay. And now five plus the wound. Yes. Okay. One wound. No AP. Yeah. Okay. So that was it. But now I can shoot with my uh, custodian, guard. custodian guards. Yes. By the way, if you clear this squad in the first salvo. You can declare a different target, you ah, may yeah, not okay. even use the twice, yeah. shoot twice. You are right, yes. Uh, so, 8 shots, hitting on 2+. plus. Yes. <sighs> okay. And now... 5s. Five, five, thankfully. But I roll once, 2 wounds. Yes. And I have 2. So, 2 wounds. And 3rd one. Okay, it's 8 minus 1, which means I'm saving on 4 ups. Yes. And uh, each fail is a dead plague marine. Exactly. <laughs> so, do I want to use a CP reroll? It's a tough question. Well, definitely I will lose uh, two guys, the bolter ones. And I think I'll just remove the. Plasma gun guy. So I will keep the reroll for, for later. Okay. Uh, because I will just decide to shoot you again. So once again, 8 shots. Yes. Hitting on 2 plus. Okay, so the same as last time. And now wounding on 5. Full house of freeze. Okay, rolling once. Okay. Only two. But it may be enough to clear the whole squad. However, if I pass at least one on the four up, and I could because I just failed three of those, uh, I will at least control my objective. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, you don't have any more shooting this turn. No. Because he fall back. So I will sacrifice my surgeon. Yes, but you still control the objective. Yes. And, and I have a plus one to my leadership on it, and I can even use the stratagem, so it will remain secure. Okay, and now I declare a charge against you. Yes. So I need, like, two. <laughs> it's four. Yes. So, no problem, I can charge you. Which means, if you weave fighting, this fallback will cost you an objective. Still, I wouldn't control more than you. But yes. 
I really need this <laughs> protection. Yeah, and as we move into the fight phase, yes. I think I will use one of my focused kata. Uh, Lethal or sustained? Yeah. I have five attacks on each guard, so I yes. think I will go with sustained. Yeah, it's, that's ridiculous amount of damage. Yes. Uh, and trust me, Peter is the only person in the world who has a chance to fail it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, because I have 20 attacks. Yes. Hitting on 2 plus. Yes. So. And I see only one one. Yeah. And we have a lot of sixes. Seven. The blessed number. Blessed number. Okay, I don't have so many dice. Yes. So let's remember seven. We will remember. Yes, it's, plus yeah. plus seven. Yeah. If this if won't be enough to kill me, I think. So now three plus two wound, and I roll once. Yes. Okay. Only one, two. So three rolls, and I will just use wounds. use picture dice. Okay. Although, and you know what? Uh, rolling. Okay. Uh, and we need. Uh, and we dice. still need have seven. Maybe I should. I will just start add. with those because I I have high chance of failing it. because I'm saving it on five ups. Okay. And each fail is a dead marine. So unless I will pull out a miracle. And who could have? But I cannot pile in onto the objective. Yes. Uh, but I still control too. Yes. So I'm happy. Yes. I'm yeah. not. But it, but it was a good turn for me. It was like... Okay, I will need to... Yes. The last small thing is... Uh, I wish I could kill this guy, but... Maybe it's still enough. He's... Yeah. Uh, that is hero. So, we move into turn 3. Yes. I need to think uh, about a lot of things, mainly my reinforcements. Like, uh, sorry, your turn three because I started it. Yes, that's yes. unusual. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll yeah. try to pass the leadership. Yeah. So on a six up, I passed it. So I control that objective. I will get five victory points no matter what. And I will get third command point. And I have four, if I remember correctly. Yes. No? Mm. Okay, so I have my little biologus. Okay, so now it will be the movement phase. So, uh, yeah, see you guys after the movement. Okay, I finally deep strike my death row terminators, and considering they are here, I might have as well start with them on the board, and probably next time. I might, because they are like literal tanks, so they are very hard to remove. Uh, anyway, I place them in such a way that I can target this squad with with their flamers. So I'll try to do something there. Biologus gave his ability to the last surviving Plague Marine. He, he moved in such a way that he can see your captain and shoot to him, but that means that the captain can uh, shoot Should overwatch, overwatch. into me. He only needs to <laughs> one hit and wound and I would be dead, so that's unfortunate. Also, my leader finally moved uh, out of this little uh, corridor and he will also prepare to charge on those guys. Finally, the Poxwalkers, they are storming the gates. Uh, they will have hard time going through, but one lucky roll on either side and I will just, you know, uh, attack you. Yeah. Okay, so I think we can start with my overwatch. Yes. So I have two attacks from my sentinel blade, hitting on 6+, plus, obviously. Oh, we have one hit, and but I still... Five ups. Yes, I need 5 up. Oh, oh! And it's minus 1 AP. Uh, yes, but I think I might have cover. I th even mm, from the first yeah, side. Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, I will cut the uh, column. But okay, still. free up or die, or a real. <laughs> okay. No. He's, he's fine. Father lost him. So, it's my turn to shoot. He has little hits and he has little uh, exploding. No, he has critical hits on fives. He's shooting to your captain, 
because just in case of or you know what I will actually start with the Plague Sport Gauntlet because they can only target this guy. Okay. Now I might have okay. other use for my uh, little fella. So it's 46 uh, out of hits. Uh, it's, ten, it's 11. It's not that great, but... Uh, and I'm wounding you, I believe, on a 4-up. Because I definitely do not care about your toughness. Uh, Death Row Terminators. Yes, Anti-Infantry 4, Ignores Cover, Pistol Torrent. The strength is free, by the way, so otherwise I will be wounding you on sixes. But, for us. Okay. It's, it's fine. I only want to soften you a little. So it's uh, six saves. AP0, obviously. So, two plus. Perfect softening because you can't even remove one guy to make the charge longer for me. Mm, yes, and I so. remain with one wound. I will take it. Although I wanted to use uh, hyper blight grenades from my uh, Biolorus, I even left a corridor for him. But uh, but 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 if I remove this single guy, I mean if if I kill him. The charge distance would be actually quite long. I mean, from the big guys, uh, from the Terminators, it would still be 9 inch charge. But it will be 1 inch longer for my leader. Uh, but I think I'll, I have to try. Okay. It's a blast weapon. But yeah, it, it doesn't have any special rules. You are not a uh, squad of 5. I can see you, you're in the open almost uh, <laughs> d6 shots great i'm hitting you on uh, free ups but uh, also uh, little hits okay i hit you twice no little hits wounding you on fives i wounded you once ap minus one okay so three plus okay thank goodness yes. uh, and by the way uh, i think that if you want to open the hatchway we should do this in, in the movement, movement phase. phase, but we can okay. Okay. Do, right. it, do this now. Uh, it's the, yes, it's the end, end of the move step. So, uh, I'll start here, because this is the harder one. Yes, because I have toughness 7, yes. you have 4. You, however, can allow me to open it. But I don't want... So we roll off. Okay, it's definitely uh, closed. The other one. I think you managed to open it because you have nine and I have eight. Then yes. Yes. So <laughs> I actually opened it. Yeah. So uh, definitely this guy. And it means that we are in combat. Yes. But yeah. you haven't charged. Yes. Which means you will start. Okay, you can kill some mindless zombies. I don't care. This guy will shoot the Sisters of Silence. Okay. He has two shots. Hitting you on three ups, but fives will be lethal. And we have one lethal hit, so you save it on the four up. Four plus. Okay, no. one sister evaporated. No, it's pointless. I wanted to force a battle shock on you, but since you're not below half strength, oh, yeah. you will auto pass it at the beginning of. like before mm, you control yeah, objective. Okay. So I'm not, not wasting a CP. Uh, I'm declaring a charge, surprisingly. Okay. I cannot stop you. <laughs> yes, uh, I will charge with this guy into your uh, leader. Not my captain. Yes, he will die a glorious death. Have you seen Mad Max? This is the war boy, like he's witness me. So I need okay. nine inches. I'm probably wasting a good roll. Uh, I'm not wasting. I'm kind of waiting because that's what I exactly needed for my yeah. big warlord. So maybe in the wrong order. It's, it's probably, yeah. My big warlord needs 7 inches for Nurgle. He gets there. He actually gets there. So, yeah, so he'll move like from here. <clears throat> and obviously 9 inch uh, charge from the deep strike with my death row terminators. I'm absolutely re-rolling the hell out of it. 
Not Which enough, but less number. Less number, definitely. So uh, I will have. Uh, we both have four CPs now. You can call out uh, us guys in the comments. Go ahead, snitch on me. Uh, nine. No. No. So it meant to be, uh, but that's probably good because you interrupt or something. At least you control the objective. Well, I had biologists here. Ah, sorry. So he, sorry, he sorry, has a purpose. You're, you're right. Uh, I'm starting with my leader. Uh, he has weapon specifically designed to kill custodies. So, Lord of Contagion has 5 attacks, hitting you on 2 ups with lethal hits. Okay. I hit you with everything and there is no lethal hits because you only done it on 6s. Wounding you, your toughness 6 regular, right? Yes. So now you go to 6, but it doesn't change anything. I need freeze. I've wounded you three times, and I will spend a CP, because it's a fight phase, not charge, charge phase, to reroll one of those uh, wound rolls. Okay. I think it was probably stupid, because now I... I mean, I wounded you, so it's uh, four but you, saves, but they can't reroll yeah. my uh, potential so save roll. Four saves? Four saves. AP minus... Three, I believe, so you use four up. Yes. Minus two, and but you one is wounded, but still, I just test. Uh, it's the same for everybody. Yes. So, four plus. Okay, you lost three custodies because it's damage free. Yes, so I want to reroll one die. <sighs> so, four up. Oh, okay, no. you still lost three guys. But, uh, yeah, the, the wounds on one guy were wasted. Okay, so that was scary. So, I fight you back. Uh, yeah, actually, if you will... If ah, but I want yeah. to fight back with... <laughs> I mean, you can fight, fight with this guy, yes, yes, out yes. of spite, revenge or whatever. But leave it for later. So, my captain has seven attacks. Yep. He hits you on two plus. Seven. Yeah, I think... That's the plus the... number. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> it all meant to be yeah. uh, pox workers. Sentinel Works. blade. So, seven times on two plus. Yep. Okay, one miss, and now with strength six, it's three plus two wounds. Only three wounds. And it's damage one, right? Yeah. My save is seven up, as it should be, but my feel no pain is five up. Okay, I lost two guys. I will remove some backward. Hillbillies. Yeah, so that wasn't spectacular. And, and now you can strike me back. I only have eight box walkers now. Okay. And this may seem useless, which honestly they kind of are. <laughs> but they have two attacks each, uh, hitting yeah. on five ups. Okay. Swift strength three, no AP. But they have lethal hits. And surprisingly, I have a stratagem that works on, uh, unlike every other, works on box walkers and there's chinks in their armor. If you're in an uh, contagion range, which you are because we are in engagement. I score a critical hit on the 5 up instead of 6, so it's just like a biologist uh, controlling the unit. So I need. So, in fact, you can do. Every hit I will score is a wound. So, theoretically, you can do more damage than I did to you. Yes. So, I scored 3 wounds. I think it's respectable. Yeah. I mean, I can't kill you and I can't score more wounds than you, but if you roll triple eyes, yeah. so it's like uh, the fish from Futur, no, from Simpsons, because there's snake eyes if you roll double one. Yeah. So what animal do you roll when you roll triple one? Yeah, maybe ra radi radioactive <laughs> fish with three eyes. Okay, do it. Uh, I cannot die. Yes. Uh, not with your dice. So everything but not one. You're okay. Uh, yeah, so that was fun. Now you're uh, close to the okay. guard. I have five attacks. Yes. I hit you on two plus. Yes. Uh, okay, and now I wound you on strength seven. Seven. I need to see if uh, the Fatso is. I think he only has toughness six. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so three plus two. Yes, and three rolling once. Yeah. 
There's Ooh, one. There's two tools. That's more yeah. exciting, at least for me. But there are two wounds. Okay, I assume you have AP minus two. Minus two. Okay, I think I still have four ups safe. Anyway, I need to pass two four ups. I did. Uh, so that was my turn. I think I clapped you back. Yeah. Quite hard. Uh, I mean, if this were lower accurate custodies, they would absolutely clear the ship. We have three heroes here. It's like three full, uh, I don't know, squads of Space Marines. Yeah. Uh, More like three Dutchmen. But if I have to say something about my big triangles, he may be slow, but when he gets there, he's, he's really dangerous. Okay, so that was my turn. Uh, we are still going you know, one to one, yeah. but uh, you will get now 15 victory points. Yes. Because you control two objectives, I only control one, you have uh, more than me. You start turn four, which, mean, which means I need to start thinking about uh, securing, you know, getting onto the objective because I won't be scoring at the end of the fifth turn. Yeah. So now I need to be on the place to get some points next turn. Okay. Okay, so we move to battle round four. Yes, you have some abilities uh, for command phase. Battle shock test. Ah, yeah, of course. Your custodies. Uh, so this only, lonely only guy. Yeah. So I have leadership six. Yes. That's everything. <laughs> but you I pass, pass it. it. Okay. So now on to the movement. Yeah. So okay. quick thinking. There probably won't be much moving. Yeah. But you have still a large custodian. Okay. So it may look like there was no movement at all, but actually, if you put a measure. <laughs> This uh, Alarus Custodian moved ever so slightly to just like the captain be one inch from the objective, one inch from the door. So he's still holding the door while controlling the objective. Yeah, so not a lot of movement, but very important one. That's true. Yeah, uh, so I have two units that can shoot and uh, I will start with the mo more important yes because I want to target uh, your lonely plug marine with mm -hmm. my Alarus custodian because he's the last one in from the squad and we have to remember about calculating uh, destroyed units at yes. the end of the game yes which yes. will be very important because currently Peter killed 90 points of my units with this guy it will be 180 so it will yes. be 15 victory points yeah, uh, so okay, so maybe let's start with Ballistus Grenade Launcher. Yep. So it's d6 attacks, three, three. I hit you on two plus, okay, and I wound you on five up. Okay, one so wound 80 minus minus one. Okay, so they changed it a little bit and the damage one. Okay, uh, I save it on the four up. Okay. Okay. I would prefer the other <laughs> weapon. Yeah. And now Castellan X. Mm -hmm. Two attacks. Yes. Keeping on two plus. And also on five. five. Up. <laughs> and you know what? Maybe I should reroll it. I mean, because I will it's definitely reroll the save. Ah, yeah. And it's like the most important shooting. This I think so. Yeah. Okay, so I reroll it, even though it's unlikely. For five up, no. Okay, so, but uh, you spend CP for a chance. So now, uh, your sisters? Ah, oh, no, I know you have. <laughs> I save it on a four up. Okay, I now need to spend a CP because uh, this guy can deny Peter points. So four up. No. <laughs> My poor, poor boy. And by the way, I forgot that I have pistol on my That's true. captain. So maybe let's go to captain, two shots, mm -hmm. hitting on two plus, and wounding on four. All right, because they are surprisingly tough. So one wound. But it's damage two, right? Yeah. In shooting. So the blade is damage two at shooting, and damage one in fighting. Two five ups. No, I lost another guy. Uh, let's see this one. 
Okay, and uh, I can still shoot with my prosecutors, but your vital <laughs> Lord Terminator. It's actually death row. Death row, sorry. Uh, yes. So, a, uh, sorry, four attacks. Yes. Their Space Marines only in the leadership and yeah. armor. Yeah. So, three plus two hit. Okay. And five plus two wound. Yes. Yeah, One wound. wound. Two act. I'm fine. So, we are fighting now. Yes. And I can start. Do you want to start with box walkers? <laughs> you know what? I know that... Because how many attacks you have? Seven. Seven. You could clear all the box walkers. Mm, yeah. But I doubt I could kill you there. But I also know that you won't kill me here. Yeah. So, I know it makes uh, little sense. But I will actually start with Pops Walkers. Yeah. So and you I'll... have seven? Uh, yes, I have the seven. The best number. Th this means something. This yeah. meant to be I'm spending a CP to again use chinks in their armor. So we are on fives. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Although I don't know. You know, who doesn't risk, doesn't drink champagne or something like that. Uh, three, six, okay. So, seven, 14 attacks. Just need fives. I wounded you only three times again. I think that was a bad decision. So, two plus? Yep. Maybe not. Uh, well, wound. The satisfaction was worth it. You know, I think I will reroll. Mm. Because if I don't. Yeah. I can be battle shock next turn. All right, and so you have your free. Yeah. So, two plus. Okay, okay. I'm fine. Uh, so now you. Yeah. I think I have to place you. Oh. Uh, okay, so I will strike you. Strike you obviously with my custodian guard. So five attacks hitting on two plus. Okay, not bad. And wounding on three six. And you can reroll the one. Ah, yeah. Okay. No. Three but wounds. Still three. I'm saving it on four ups. And it's only damage one. And it's only damage one. Okay, so I lost one wound. Do you have an orange die? Right. How much? Do Five you have? remaining. Okay, and now I will, uh, you know, take my revenge. So, five attacks hitting you on two ups. Okay, one miss. Uh, wounding you on three ups. I think there was a little hit there. There was a six. But mm. two Probably. wounds. You know what? I will reroll it. Or you know what? Better yet. Okay, guys, we used uh, magnificent uh, modern technology. Uh, I called the, the VAR checking, whatever is the sign, mm. challenge. And yes, there was a six. So uh, three saves. And I'm not rerolling. So but you know what? That's maybe important fish I will spend a CP I don't need any CP because you're not attacking me I go to zero and I will absolutely uh, try to murder you there's no kill like overkill yeah so I need three okay so it's four saves on four ups. okay four ups <sighs> it's mighty crucial now we need to quickly check one thing because it depends whether the Captain stratagem only makes the stratagem cheaper or allows you to use it second time because if not I think it's only cheaper Yeah Which means I I cannot do anything uh, So he's dead and So the pox walkers actually made the difference. Yeah, and it's first you need that is destroyed for me Yes but thankfully they were like 180. 180. Which means that we both scored 180 ah, in, in yeah. points. So we have 15 victory points. So we go sure. toe to toe. Yeah, we need to. Well, uh, by the way, I forgot to count my five victory points. So I actually have 15. Okay. Uh, so Peter gets. Uh, I mean, it will be at the end, right? Yeah. So Peter uh, has slight lead, but now it's my turn. My turn for. Mm. Because it was you. Yeah. It was your turn. Yeah. Uh, that's why I started. Because yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, starting. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. 
Okay, so we both get CP. You have four. I, I lost radio. track of turns. <laughs> By the way, uh, Peter just suffered one of the worst feelings when you have abundance of uh, CP and you can't use a stratagem because you just yeah. use it. Uh, I think it's uh, time to check moral. No, you don't have anything. I have to check. either no. dead yeah. or above half. I will need to do some measuring, maybe some movement, or probably some movement, and be with you guys uh, in a moment. Yeah. Okay, so I moved my uh, Death Row Terminators forward to your uh, captain, to your leader. I'm pulling back my Poxwalkers because they are close to useless. Uh, I moved my uh, leader towards your poor... Uh, Poor, poor alarm custodian and objective. And I'll try to open the door because it's super fun. Okay. So, uh, we roll off. Oh, I have no chance. And uh, now I would open. <laughs> so, uh, they, are rem they remain locked, which is actually good because at least they can't die. Uh, in the shooting phase, I will just use uh, plague spore gauntlets. This guy can't see. But this one can, this one can. This is the leader, which means he has two. So okay, I so have 3d6. Hitting you all... I mean, 3d6. So, uh, ten. 10. So almost as good as full squat. Wounding you on four ups. It's not terrible. Five saves. Five AP saves. zero, but it does six to recover. Yeah. So, two plus. No. Okay. Uh, charge phase. My leader charges your Alarus Terminator. Yeah. Well, he's obviously. It in. wasn't allowed charge. And, and you moved in objective. Uh, I have less than nine inches, which means I need eight. eight. I would prefer seven, but I left CP for a reroll. I'm spending the CP for a real. Yeah. That's my biggest chance this game. <sighs> yeah, Death Guard is slow. Uh, and I will I will need to kill him the next turn. It's yeah. very important here. I shouldn't probably leave with the Poxwalkers because then the dream would leave on the tail <laughs> somehow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm starting fight against your Alarus Terminator. Yeah. I have five attacks. So Two ups. Oh. But it's a wound. Can't reroll this. Your toughness six now. I have strength eight. Go <laughs> ahead, say it. So four plus? Four plus. Okay. You don't even need to reroll. Yeah. Okay, you strike me back, and funnily enough, you can actually kill me. Yes, because I have four attacks with damage three. Yeah, which will go to damage two. But you still have five wounds. Yeah, but three. You know, three successful wounds. Okay, three so saves. I hit you on two plus. Yes. Okay. And I will reroll re -roll this one. Okay. So minus one, one point, and now and I have zero. Strength 9, so freeze. Freeze. So it's very important. Yeah. Mm. Full. Four wounds. I have no uh, reroll if I roll as poorly as for the attack. It will actually kill my leader. Secure another 15 victory points for the objectives. Yeah. So free ups because it's only AP minus 1. Okay. So we both whiffed here very hard. Uh, that was my turn. Now it's. And by the way, who has higher objective control? Uh, I believe I may have only one, but you reduce. Yeah, I reduce. Project. And I have two, anyway. Okay, so I still control this objective? Yes, you do. Great. So you get 15 victory points, actually. Yeah. So my only. Oh, sorry. My only chance now is, uh, well, to kill you in your turn, which there is a chance, then I will get 10 victory points, but I will have to, like, kill those two units to 
secure better better points. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I still have to think about movement for a second. Yes. Uh, we get our CPs back. So that was my movement phase. Yes. Very tactical. Yes. I have made decision to just move into the corner so that I'm as far away as possible to your Death, Death Row Terminators. Yes. But I can still shoot because we are exactly within 12 inches. So, yeah. Yes, That's because it. I only move 4 inches. Uh, which means uh, that I will need a 7 inch charge. I will, be, I will be just within 8 inches. Yeah. That's why Peter can shoot. And I'm okay with a 7 inch charge because, you know, that's the blessed number. So let's see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you know what? I will use uh, sustained heat stratagem. Uh, you need to be within Ah, six. sorry. Yeah. So I want... But, yeah, those stratagems uh, yeah. in yeah. Custodis are a little uh, too, under too limiting. Yeah. So I just shoot two times, hitting on two plus. Uh, I have so many CP that I can re-roll. I can re-roll, so I re-roll. Okay, yeah. two hits, and now wounding on. I use it for free. Uh, okay. And now I roll on five up. Nothing. Snake side. Okay, now we are fighting, and because it's your turn, you I start. start with my leader. I hit you on two halves. But you know, just in case if I survive, I want to trigger lethal hits. Okay. From my second. Yeah. Focus this may be your last chance to yeah. use them. I think uh, this is an important fight for me. So I'll spend CP in advance uh, to get um, trigger critical hits on a five up. So I have five attacks, hitting you on two ups. I scored three little hits. And I'm wounding you on a free up. So only free, which and means I saved it on four plus. Yes, and you have a reroll. Yeah. Okay. So four plus. Oh. Even with reroll. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. That's bad. So that was my turn. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I might have problem to get to your captain. And by the way, we forgot to add fifteen victory points that I got at the start of. My turn for object. Yes, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Before Peter even moved, uh, he got to thirty-five. Uh, now, because he was now CP for free, <laughs> five CP. And now we I get have one. You know what? You get ten points. In fact, I'm at twenty-five. Now, uh, in my movement phase. I just move my death guard. Where did you put the tape measure? There you go. I just put. Uh, I just move my uh, death row terminators four inches forward, and then you have seven inch charge. Yes. But you can shoot first. I can shoot. I'll try try it. Uh, this guy, I think, can do nothing, really. Uh, my lord of contagion is kinda happy. In his happy place, I need the CP for a reroll. He won't be able to get to your your leader. I need a seven inch charge. The whole game comes down to this. Uh, um, but do you want to shoot me? Yeah, or oh, you're yeah. right. <sighs> Peter is such a good friend. Yeah. 46 flamers. I uh, 10, 11. Not S much. So, 8, 11, wounding him for us. that bad for a stinky water gun. Seven. Seven, of course. Seven. And I save it on two plus. Yes. Mm. I mean, it honestly doesn't matter for you because I have damage to weapons. Yeah, okay. So I, I mean, go down to three. You have like bajillion points so you can reroll it. Ah, oh, no. The roll. If I get to make it on the first try, I will trigger some stratagems. But I have to reroll the charge. Yeah. It's getting tense. And you do. 
I mean, it's just a, just a fatherly blessing. Why? Okay, because this one. You are under protection of Nurgle. <laughs> but I won't be able to use any cool stratagems. Uh, but yeah. still you have a lot of uh, maybe prowess. Yes, they are absolutely great. They have four attacks each. Uh, which I just realized custodies, right? Like regular custodies have five each. Mm -hmm. But I'm still hitting on two us. Sixes are auto wounds. So I scored a single auto wound and didn't miss a single bit. And wounding you on three us. So, that's a lot of wounds. Yeah. How many in fact? Uh, three, six, eight, nine. Okay. Nine. And all on four plus. Yes. With damage two. Yes. Okay. It's the level. So, four plus? Uh, I don't think so. I'm dead. Okay. But honestly, I think that that was still the better option. Because it was like all in bed. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think you stood a chance at that point in game to kill the Death Row Terminators, especially since your captain had a damage one weapon. Yeah. I think that giving them the shield is a cool option, like extra wound, super, super good, but... Yeah, but damage one is not enough. No. So unfortunately GW made it, so you have to buy their super ugly squatty bald guy yeah, yeah. in yoga pants uh, which I, I hate that model with burning passion uh, but the next loadout we think I think we need to do with the Peria something spire yeah. you know the melta melta spear okay with all in all, that kill I you got managed to get 45 victory points for killing my yes. units and you still got 15 and I only got 15 and this is the way to win today. So how many points I do have? 70? Have, yeah, 25 plus 45 is 70. And so I it have has 50. 7 in it. <laughs> yeah. It was meant to be. 10 times 7. Exactly. You know that the death route always followed Mortarion in 7 times 7 steps, 49. Mm -hmm. It was in, uh, at the trial of Magnus, which Peter should know by heart because He's a huge ner I mean, thousand suns. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I think it was an exciting game. Yes. It took longer than expected, but that's because this layout, on one hand, is like less boarding action, but yeah. on the because other hand... Because it was super open. Best. Yes. But on one hand, very open because of the large spurs in the middle. But in fact, uh, for example, the box walker were boxed yeah. <laughs> just because I could hold two hatchways. Yes. So, yeah, that was interesting. And uh, our armies... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I thought it was like 100% mirrored, but it's like N no, mirrored. It's like this. So they could all the time just move to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're I mean, right. Yeah. They thankfully, uh, you know, opened the. But the you are, trip. you know, they are too mindless to, to think that way. <laughs> it was. So, yeah, it yes, was okay. As Peter was saying, it yes. was on one hand open, but also yeah. limiting. But both armies are very tough, so we could just go step into the open and still have a nice fight. And it was, I think, very even to the last yes. moment, because if I could survive with my lonely captain. The, the outcome would be if I fail, fail the charge uh, yeah hmm. also uh, this allows custodian if he survived one turn longer that would also be a huge yeah. deal uh, but then again like I think Peter could f no even if he fall back I still was scoring at my turn so Peter could deny me victory points in some ways but I would still be able to charge and fight Peter in my final turn. Yeah. So I think that uh, in previous battle rounds I made a huge mistake of letting go the first Alarus mm -hmm. because I could reroll and I forget. Uh, yeah, so it might have big impact. 
Yeah, yeah. I think so. But other than that, yeah. It was a cool game. Boarding actions are great. Yes. <laughs> and even such basic mission yes, is, is the so first one, flavorful. No special rules. Yeah. yeah, but again, it's open space, but it's so limited on the side that it kind of forces you to go from the middle. The, all the objectives are exposed, so we had to engage and risk getting shot at, leave cover, etc. Yeah. And it's like those little decisions, mind games. Yeah, and other thing, even though I lost, I think I played very well in the beginning uh, with moving, just moving the units, yes. because it was so hard for you to deep strike and just to, to move to on the board. Yeah, the last possible moment, and I still basically deep strike close to my my edge, and only because uh, Peter killed many of my guys. Yeah, like literally killing my own squad allowed me to place. Uh, the shot right there. Yeah, and also holding the objective while blocking the hatchway. I think it was a great move, and it's yes, just with toughness yeah. seven DLRs yeah. are just un unbeatable. I also have to say that my enhancement played a huge role for me. Like it was perfect. Like maybe the stratagems for Death Guard they aren't representing their durability, but simple minus one damage on such a tanky unit, it was great. It allowed me to survive the custodian guard strike yeah so i was actually more scared about the castellan axe that everyone says mm. is inferior because it had damage three so yeah. it only went down to damage two and still well, you know yeah and to be honest i was a bit irritated with my stratagems because they were too specific mm -hmm. because i had two stratagems uh, regarding movement that was yes. only used in specific situation. I fell back once with my Alarus, but that was it. Uh, I could use one in shooting for uh, sustained hits, but only within six inches. And the only one in charge phase was also only specific to Alarus custodians and only after charge, which I, I just didn't charge this game. Yes, so with them. With them, yeah. So I think uh, like when you have so few stratagems, they have to be like more open, more universal, more, yeah, more universal yeah, and it was just too specific. But yeah. other than that, uh, it was a really fun game. Yes. The fact that you uh, reduced the OC so much yeah. was also a yeah. big thing. Yeah, I'm, I yeah because I think that army and detachment rule are okay. Enhancement also, they, they are like... Mm. just what I would expect from Custodis. Yeah. So, uh, that was a cool okay. game. I think we will uh, return to those armies eventually, because I like them both. <coughs> yes. I'm really proud of Devgard. Peter was helping me base them today before the game, uh, because I wanted them to be absolutely perfect f for the game, for some camera close-ups. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and one last thing, uh, if you are watching this butt wrap, also you might be interested in my vlog about building a whole spaceship that will be like a yes. full diorama Basically, for boarding actions. This board concept, this board, this, those elements into a whole spaceship with exterior. Yes. It's amazing uh, work in progress. It may have started like DevGuard, so yeah. kind of slow, so, but, but, you full. but you saw what slow guys achieved at the end so yeah. I think that the next episode can be absolutely huge jump yeah you will see yeah without spoiling uh, thanks for watching be sure to give this video a like be sure to subscribe if you want to see more see you guys in the next one have a great day bye 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 bye